this is day one. We're setting up the inflatable at the, uh, the store at Australia Fair. We just had a conversation. We're not quite sure who's more excited about it, us or the kids. started exactly where these kids are here now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Went through exactly the same process they're going through, so it's pretty cool to come down and see them going through. It is, it's cool, and I thought they were going to kick about 50 balls to you at the one time then. Did you reckon you had a shot, being a uh, form fullback in the AFL at the moment? Uh, I reckon I could have fended off one or two, but 50 would have been a bit much for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Obviously, the more, um, more kids we can get started up, the better. They're obviously the future, and I think the more kids we can get on the coast, it'll be better for footy, and hopefully have a lot, a lot more local kids playing for the Suns in the future. And we've stuck this great big, big balloon here for the kids to come and play at. Um, you know, as as a parent, it's hard to control kids at the footy if you've got one sibling playing. Can you sort of visualise what that's going to mean on game day for the club and the parents and, and the kids themselves? Yeah, it's just going to be a lot more entertainment, I guess, for the kids, which is always good for the parents. And yeah, it's going to be a bit more fun for everyone, make life a bit more easier. Oh, it was great. Yeah, it was really, really good. It's great for the kids, get them out there and they can um, make friends together and build more relationships. So, yeah, go Southport Sharks. I know with my son, he loves it. I haven't been able to get him out of it. So it's great that I can sit there and, and talk to parents and not have to worry about them wandering too far away for entertainment. Having the inflatable for our club, we've got a huge amount of young kids from under sixes through to under 12s and then we go into older, older age groups again. But the younger kids especially, that's just an absolute tick in the box for us. It's, it's a, a great recruitment tool, it's a great retention tool and obviously gets the word out of what we're trying to do and that's develop young AFL footballers around the Gold Coast. Telstra approached the senior football club about getting involved in a community level as far as the football AFL is concerned and to have the inflatable oval that we've got now coming down, it's branded up with um, our local supporters being the Australia Fair store and Chris and the guys down there have been just absolutely so supportive of the kids and you know, we get constant communication with them and that's just the word that's getting out amongst our parents now. Partnership's a key word. It's one of the things where for us as a junior development club, um, I suppose we're not any different to any other young football club floating around the, the coast. We've got to try and make sure that our kids get the best possible resources they can and it's about keeping them motivated and want to come along to training every night to come and see their coaches and look forward to being involved around the club. So if we can do anything to keep that rolling, if we've got a partnership like what we have with our AFL club and Telstra, that's only a, that's a no-brainer for us. It just works every time. just want to go to the boys. Are you Suns fans, boys? Do you know who your favourite player is? Gary Ready? One more time. Who's your favourite Gold Coast Suns player? Gary 